is a lady. Randy Brown. <laughs> I'm sorry, you won't give me your introduction. Thanks, Jeremy. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy. You're welcome. You know what? Fuck all of you. I'm doing fine. <laughs> None of you clapped. Most of you have your arms folded. Oh. No, Dan. No. Nope. <laughs> this does feel like it's va vaguely like it's gonna fall apart. And also, there we go. If I get a little closer to my mouth, I have to do the make out with it, Church. <sighs> I like doing comedy for single digit crowds. <laughs> it's good. What's up, Dan? How you doing? How'd your show go tonight? Okay. I was gonna go, but then it rained. Ah! <laughs> I don't go ah, places ah. in the rain. I don't go to more than one place in the rain. So, sorry. That's cool. <laughs> if I ever go, though, I expect you to be there. Uh, well. I also expect you to forget this whole conversation. Are you recording this, Tim? Yeah. For what? Huh? <laughs> Are you recording it for? I just got the equipment, so I'm just... Recording it for what though? Just for your own. Personal We're having a release we party. Be. Ramon Rivas presents Randy Brown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's your record, dude. He's gonna be upset about that. Oh, this is my. Oh, this is my. This stadium. is a Ramon cast. Ramon cast. <laughs> I met that guy one time. I mean, I saw him one time. Yeah. Somewhere. I, I never met him. He was cool. In there. At the Euclid Tavern. Walked in, shook everybody's hand, but me. I didn't know him though. All right, I guess. Corrupt <laughs> ass. <laughs> Does anybody want to hear me do any jokes, or should I just keep doing this? Just rip on other comics that you've met. Apparently, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did it last week. It did pretty good when I made fun of Jesse's tech guys. That went over well. What's up, Dwayne? Why are you looking around like you can't find the guy with the microphone? Alright. I came up with a test to see if you're overweight or not. You can try this if you want. When you get out of the shower, you can put your sock on. You lift up your leg and you can put it on. You're okay. You're not fat. If you go to put it on and you fall forward, you're fat. I'm sorry. Gravity's rule, not mine. If you can't, or if, if you go sideways, you might just be uncoordinated. But you can lean up against the bed, that's what I do. Hi, Bridget. Hi. This is going on. I feel like, uh, what's his name? Andrew Dice Clay. The day the laughter hey, died. <laughs> Don't ever masturbate while looking into your own eyes in a mirror. Don't do that. Unless you can afford the therapy. Don't do that. Have you ever done that? Staring into your own eyes while you masturbate? Dude, I'm like drunk. <laughs> That answers my question. <laughs> I had sex with a black girl once. <laughs> it was actually... <laughs> actually, afterwards, I thought it was more classified as like a hate crime rather than sex. Because she hurt me a lot. She was like, punch me and choke me. <laughs> it was awful. I wanted to try it again, but uh, I don't know. I called the cops instead. <laughs> You're very humble today. Yeah. I don't know, I'm still it Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so deliver it like it was big. Yeah. <laughs> It helps sell the laughter. That's what all these pauses are for, actually. Yeah. These are laughter 
pauses. <laughs> like that one. <laughs> and that one. Just pause all over the place. I was gonna do some stuff that I haven't done either in a while or ever. Okay, how about the RTA bus driver punch? Yeah. The RTA. Have people seen the video of the RTA bus driver? He's been a bus driver for 22 years. Okay, that's not the first time that he's punched somebody on the bus. That's probably not the first time that he's punched a woman either because of what he said. He said, um, if you want to act like a man, I'll treat you like a man. And he said it so naturally that he said it before. But I like it. I like all the publicity, you know, for Cleveland. Dana White's going to hold the next UFC in Cleveland. On the Woo! The, uh, the bus driver's going to fight Epic Beard Man. <laughs> <laughs> on the bus. Hell yeah. And the winner uh, fights like GSP or something. I like it. <laughs> I saw, uh, do you want me to do the abortion billboard joke and then I'll just be done? Yeah! Let's go ahead and tell a joke that usually people laugh at. And just have my confidence in it crushed to the ground. Motherfucker. Saw some abortion billboards, some anti abortion billboards, and uh, they're starting to get clever for some reason. One of them said, Abortion, <coughs> the ultimate child abuse. Which I thought, you know, would they have some kind of child abuse competition or something? They bring in a bunch of kids and they starve one and they beat one and they neglect one and then they abort one. I'm like, well, that's obviously the ultimate abuse. Obviously, abortion's the worst, which I, I disagree with. I think that the other things are worse because I've heard of kids that are mentally and physically abused and they end up growing up and doing that to their kids, but no aborted kids have ever grown up to abort their kids. <laughs> <laughs> there's no, there's no aborted kids in therapy rooms going, you know, I must abort them because I was aborted. That must be why. <laughs> and the other one said, what does abortion cost the life of a child? So that was pretty convenient for like teenage pregnant girls who don't have a lot of money. It costs the life of a child pretty low cost, you know? Fits into her budget, I would say. I mean, she's got a problem. I mean, that's the definition of affordable, I would say. All right, everybody. You can all calm down now. I'm going to step away from the microphone. Thank you. Holy shit. Randy Brown, you can purchase that set from com <laughs> <laughs> or on iTunes.